How to Eat Soba, Japanese Cuisine Guide Depending on how your soba are served, the way of eating differs. Soba served in a soup, usually the hot ones, are enjoyed by using your chopsticks to lead the noodles into your mouth while making a slurping sound. The slurping enhances the flavors and helps cool down the hot noodles as they enter your mouth. The broth is drunk directly from the bowl, eliminating the need for a spoon. It is not considered rude to leave some unfinished soup in the bowl at the end of the meal. For soba that are served with a dipping sauce, usually the cold ones, there are a few more steps before you can enjoy them. First, mix some of the green onions and wasabi into the dipping sauce. Then take a few strands of soba noodles and dip them into the sauce before eating them. If your soba were served with a dipping sauce, some soba restaurants will give you a little teapot, see photo to the right, towards the end of the meal that is filled with what looks like hot cloudy water. This is sobeu, the water that the soba noodles were cooked in. Sobeu is meant to be poured into your remaining dipping sauce after you have finished your noodles. This is how you can finish your dipping sauce by drinking this mixture and adjusting the amount of sobeu as you prefer. Regional Soba Dishes While soba can be easily found all over Japan, Soba tends to be more popular in rural areas, and especially in regions where the soil is suitable for growing buckwheat. Soba produced in some regions are more famous than others. Nagano Prefecture and Yamagata Prefecture, for example, are well known for their soba. Wonko Soba Eating Wonko Soba is an experience in itself. Each serving contains roughly a mouthful of soba noodles, and the server will constantly keep topping up your empty bowl with more noodles until you indicate that you have had enough. The first bowl is eaten plain to taste the flavor, and toppings can be added from the second bowl. The average for women is about 30 to 40 bowls, while men average about 50 to 60 bowls. Ita Soba Ita Soba is a specialty of Yamagata Prefecture. The noodles are cut slightly larger in width compared to average soba noodles, reminiscent of soba noodles made in the countryside. Ita soba is served on large boards, Ita. As unpolished soba flour is used, the texture and the smell of buckwheat is stronger. Green tea soba, matcha soba. Uji is a city south of Kyoto that is famous for tea. Green tea soba is buckwheat flour mixed with green tea powder, resulting in green soba noodles with a green tea flavor. It is eaten as per normal soba noodles, and comes in both hot and cold varieties. Nishin Soba Nishin Soba is so named for the preserved Pacific herring, Nishin, that is placed on top of the noodles in hot broth. Nishin is prepared by first drying, then being braised in a sweet sauce. Izumo Soba In Izumo, the hull of the buckwheat seed is used in making buckwheat flour. The result is soba noodles that are darker and have a stronger buckwheat smell than the average soba noodles. Izumo soba is usually served in a three-tier serving bowl together with a variety of toppings. It is eaten by first adding some toppings and dipping sauce into the first layer, then pouring the leftover to the next layer and adding more fresh toppings and dipping sauce, etc. Okinawa soba While called soba, Okinawa soba are not made with buckwheat flour but with wheat flour. Their texture is more of a cross between ramen and udon noodles. Okinawa soba are usually served in a hot pork broth with slices of simmered pork, green onions, and pickled ginger.